Hello and welcome to How to Play Scat, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the card game Scat. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details for the game. The tutorial will conclude with an example round that combines all the lessons learned. Scat is played with three players. To play Scat, you will need a 32 card deck of the aces down to the sevens in each suit. Ten cards are dealt to each player. First, a set of three cards to each player. Then two cards are placed face down in the middle. Then a set of four cards to each player. And finally, another set of three cards to each player. The two cards in the middle are known as the Scat. Scat is a trick-taking game. A trick is created by each player playing a card into the middle and the player with the highest ranking card wins the trick. In Scat, the cards are ranked with the Jacks being the highest and then the Aces, Tens, and Kings down to the Sevens until a Trump suit is established. Once a Trump suit is established, all Trump suited cards will outrank the other suited cards. For example, when Hearts are Trump, the Queen of Hearts will outrank the Ace of Spades to win this trick. Every jack is part of the trump suit no matter what suit is called for trump. The jacks are also ranked with the jack of clubs always being the highest, then the spade, heart, and diamond. Going back to the hand that was dealt earlier, I have flipped up each player's cards for you to see. In an actual game, you will keep your cards hidden from the other players. It is at this time in the game when bidding would occur, but in order to understand how and what to bid, you will first need to know how the scoring of a round works. We will revisit how the bidding works later in this video. For now, we will continue with the tutorial assuming player 3 has won the bid and named hearts as the trump suit. Because hearts are the trump suit, the trump suited cards are ranked as seen here. The player that wins the bid gets the two scat cards. He has the option to switch cards from his hand with the scat cards. Player 3 chooses not to look at the scat cards. The game begins with the player left of the dealer leading the first trick. Player 2 leads the Ace of Spades. Players are required to play a card in the lead suit when possible. Player 3 does not have a spade suited card and is unable to follow suit. Player 3 is able to play any card he wants and decides to play the trump suited Queen of Hearts. Player 1 does have a spade suited card in his hand and is required to play it. Player 1 plays the Seven of Spades. Player 3 wins this trick with the highest ranking trump card. The player that wins the trick leads the next trick. Player 3 leads the next trick with the jack of clubs. This club is a trump suited card and a jack or heart is required to follow suit. Player 1 follows trump by playing the jack of diamonds and player 2 follows suit by playing the seven of hearts. Player 3 wins this trick with the highest ranking trump card. Player 3 leads the next trick with the jack of hearts. Player 1 follows the trump lead with the jack of spades and player 2 follows Trump with the 10 of hearts. Player 1 wins this trick with the highest ranking Trump card. Player 1 leads the next trick with the Ace of Diamonds. Player 2 follows suit with the 9 of Diamonds and player 3 follows suit with the 7 of Diamonds. When no Trump cards are played, the player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit wins the trick. Player 1 wins this trick with the Ace. Players continue to play until all cards have been played. The scoring for SCAT can be complex to understand. The SCAT Quick Guide can be found through the link in this video's description and will help you as you are first learning the game. At the end of the round, the bid winner will count the value of cards he took by winning tricks, including the two SCAT cards. Each Ace has a value of 11, Tens have a value of 10, Kings a value of 4, Queens a value of 3, and Jacks a value of 2. In order for the bidder to win, he must have at least a card value total of 61 or more. Player 3 has a card value total of 95 from the cards he won in his tricks, and this gives him a win. A win is one of a possible 8 multipliers that are used to calculate a player's score for the round. The other possible multipliers are as follows. The Matadors refers to a player having or not having the top ranking cards. A player will always get at least one Matador for either having or not having the top ranked Jack of Clubs. A player could potentially get a higher Matador multiplier 
for having or not having a sequence of top ranked cards. For example, a player with the Jack of Clubs, Jack of Spades, and Jack of Hearts would have the top three cards, which is three Matadors for a multiplier of three. A player whose top card is the Jack of Hearts would be without the top two Matadors, giving him a multiplier of two. The hand multiplier is given to a bid winner who does not look at the scat during the game play. The Schneider and Schwartz multipliers are given based on the card value won during the round. If a player wins a card value of 91 or more, he gets the Schneider multiplier. If a player wins every trick during gameplay, he gets the Schwartz multiplier. If before gameplay has begun, a bid winner announces he will win 91 plus points, he gets a multiplier for announcing Schneider. And if a bid winner announces he will win every trick, he gets a multiplier for announcing Schwartz. The last multiplier is given to a player that announces Schwartz and then plays the round with his cards face up on the table for other players to see. This is known as playing open. A player can only announce Schneider, Swartz, or play open if the scat is not looked at. The number of multipliers will be applied to a base value that depends on the trump suit for the round. When diamonds are trump, the base value is 9, hearts is 10, spades is 11, and clubs is 12. A player is allowed to call grand. This means that only the jacks are trump for the round. Calling grand has a base value of 24. Going back to the earlier gameplay, player 3 called hearts as trump for a base value of 10. He gets the win multiplier for winning a card value of at least 61. Player 3 had the top ranked jack of clubs, but not the next ranked jack of spades. This gives him one matador multiplier. Player 3 did not look at the scat before gameplay to get the hand multiplier and player 3 gets the Schneider multiplier for winning a card value of 95. This gives player 3 a round score of 40, the hearts base value of 10 times the 4 multipliers. The bid winner has the option to call null instead of calling a trump suit or grand. When null is called, the card rank changes to aces high down to the sevens and the bid winner will try to avoid winning a trick. If successful in avoiding every trick, the bid winner will be awarded 23 points if the scat was used or 35 points if the scat remained down. A successful null hand that is played open with cards shown to all players is worth double the points. Going back to the earlier hand, the opportunity to determine trump or call null is given to the player left of the dealer. The player right of the dealer gets the first chance to steal that opportunity. When player 1 is the dealer, player 3 will state the first bid or pass. Player 3 will open with a bid of 18. Player 2 has the option to take the bid at 18 or pass. If player 2 thinks he can make that many points, he will accept it. At this time, player 3 can increase his bid and player 2 has the option to accept it again. This goes back and forth between players 2 and 3 until 1 passes. Player 2 will pass on the 18 bid. Player 3 will now accept or pass bids from player 1. Player 1 will pass and player 3 wins the bid at 18. If both player 3 and player 1 were to pass without making a bid, player 2 has the option to call Ramshish. This means that all players try to avoid taking tricks during gameplay. The cards are ranked the same as in Grand, with the Jacks being the only trumps. The player that has the highest card value from the tricks taken during the round will lose 20 points if every player took at least one trick, or will lose 30 points if at least one player took zero tricks. The scat is not used for this game style. If a Grand game is called, only the Jacks are trump. This means if a jack is led, a jack is required to be played in order to follow suit. The two players that do not win the bid become partners in trying to set the bid winner. It is advantageous to give your partner high card values when he is going to win a trick. The minimum bid is 18. Every hand will have a minimum multiplier of 2 for the win and being with or without a matador. The lowest base valued suit is diamonds at 9. 9 times 2 is 18. If a bid winner does not get 61 or more points for the win, he goes set. This means he loses twice the value of the game played. 
The value of a game played is determined by taking the base value of the trump suit times any multipliers. For example, a spades game has a minimum value of 22. The base spades value of 11 times the guaranteed two multipliers for a win and one matador. The bid winner would lose 44 points for not winning this game. More matador multipliers are added if applicable. If the player didn't look at the scat, another multiplier is added to the game value. If a bid winner fails to win 31 or more card points in the game, the Schneider multiplier is added. If the bid winner fails to win a single trick, the Schwartz multiplier is added to the set score. Going set also applies to a player that won a game but did receive fewer points than bid. A player's matadors could change based on the cards in the scat, even when a player does not look at the scat. For example, a player that is without two matadors could get the jack of clubs in the scat at the end of the game. This changes his without two matadors to with one matador. When Schneider is announced and made, the player gets one multiplier for getting Schneider and an additional one for announcing Schneider. If a player announces Schwartz and makes it, he gets an additional four multipliers. The game begins with each player being dealt 10 cards with two cards going to the scat. Player 3 will start the bidding with player 2. Player 3 bids 18 and player 2 accepts. Player 3 then passes. Bidding moves to player 1 who bids 20. Player 2 accepts. Player 1 increases his bid to 22 and player 2 accepts. Player 1 increases again to 23. Player 2 accepts and player 1 passes. Player 2 wins the bid at 23 and decides to look at the scat. Player 2 will keep the jack of spades from the scat and replaces it with the seven of diamonds. Player 2 will leave the ten of hearts in the scat to give himself the ten card points from it. Player 2 announces clubs as trump. This means all the jacks are considered clubs for the round. Player 2 starts the first trick with the trump suited jack of spades. Player 3 follows trump with the jack of clubs and player 1 follows trump with the seven of clubs. Player 3 wins this trick with the highest ranking card. Player 3 leads the next trick with the Ace of Hearts. Player 1 follows suit with the Queen of Hearts. Player 2 does not have a heart to follow suit and plays the Trump suited King of Clubs to win this trick. Player 2 leads the next trick with the Jack of Hearts. Player 3 follows Trump with the Queen of Clubs and Player 1 follows Trump with the Eight of Clubs. Player 2 wins this trick with the highest ranking card. Players continue to play cards and the rest of the round goes as follows. round, player 2 counts the card values from the tricks he won and players 1 and 3 combine their cards won. Player 2 has a card value of 89 to get the win and he had the jack of spades to be without one matador. This gives player 2 two multipliers with the club's base value of 12 for a total of 24 points to beat his bid of 23. Players will play an agreed upon amount of deals such as 12 and the player with the most points at the end of the deals wins the game. That wraps up how to play scat. As with most games, you will get better with practice. So don't be discouraged if it takes you a few games to catch up. Thanks for watching.